Welcome to I See the Light. I'm Prophetess Regina. I am the light, and I'm back with another one. God bless. God bless. I hope this is reaching you all in good spirits and high vibrations, and you're not letting anybody dim your light. I'm here to preach the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm so thankful to be here on July the 12th, 2024. This is my third attempt, so this one should stick, Lord. Um. I had to go wipe the makeup off my face. I think I still got some on. Oh, look. How can it be? I have had really like a lot of food, but I feel like I gained weight anyway. There's some crazy stuff going on around here. But you know what? I'm here to praise God. I love you, Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, Mother Mother, King of Israel. I love you so much, and I'm never going to let you go. Whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Mm -mm, never. So, it's the Sabbath day. We're keeping it holy. We're thankful because God woke us up this morning. Let's say a prayer. Please join me in a prayer, and please agree. Um, if you're not here for the uplifting words of the Lord, I would ask you to exit the building, but I can't tell you what to do. Um, it's your thing, whatever you, whatever your fancy is. Yeah. God will um, see me through everything, and this is for the people that want the word of the Lord. Let's go. At this time, please respect the Lord, bow your head, and know that every head and knee shall bow down to the Lord because God says so. Let's go. Father God in heaven, Holy Father, we we thank you. For these things today, breath, life, comfort, food, health, protection, family, love, your love, your unconditional love. We thank you for these things. We ask you to be patient with us as we continue to grow. Some of us have been a little ignorant, including myself. I have to say, Lord, forgive me for my ignorance. I'm I'm still growing, Lord Jesus. I, I can admit my wrongs to you, Lord. Um, forgive me for my wrongdoings, Lord. And just keep keep holding me tight, Lord, as and don't let me go as I grow. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. So I have an announcement. I have taken every last if, if it's one in there it's by mistake because i went through my big bag of downloads and took every last tarot card out of the bag and i placed them in a, a plastic bag and i tied them up and as soon as i placed them in that plastic bag i i, I instantly felt lighter i felt gratitude i felt so um calm it felt like i just released a big old burden Mm -hmm. I took them tarot cards and I took them to the dumpster and I dumped them. I'm taking out the trash. Now, to all the tarot readers that I've been associating with, I am done with you all. Hopefully, you'll understand that what you're doing is not right. Who am I to say, huh? Well, I never did learn how to read the tarot cards. I was just, like I said, playing around with them anyway. And then I started getting all kind of attacks and stuff. You guys came for me. Played with me. And then when you realized how how talented I was or whatever it was or that God uh, put, put, put me in a certain position, then everybody wanted to be my friend. Isn't that something? Hmm? Well, I'm here to tell you I have no friends. The only friends I have is God, Bay, my son. And hopefully I will have more friends in the future, but it's only because be only going to be because God brings those good people to me. So my YouTube now is tarot card free. No more tarot card people for me. Y'all y'all keep doing what y'all do. Y'all not going to be talking to me anymore, so you don't have to worry. I'm not watching. You can go back to doing the your community of people that look up to you. I'm not I'm not coming back through, y'all. When I let people go, I let them go, and y'all know that. So it's over. 
goodbye. And I said goodbye to the tarot cards too. You know, kind of like you said goodbye to a Ouija board. I said goodbye, adios, amigos, goodbye, farewell. I'm done. I don't want I don't want nothing else to do with you. But we still got our downloads and we'll still continue to get more. And I feel so good, y'all. So good. And right after that, God blessed me with a a, a reward. Mm-hmm. Babe, God blessed me with a reward right after I dumped those tarot cards. Sorry it took so long for me to realize I wasn't supposed to have those or be using those. Forgive me. Kind of helped me walk myself through or something, but I guess it helped also, you know, expose a lot of people, especially when these people were rooting me on, but they weren't rooting me on and all that kind of stuff. It's just crazy how things happen, isn't it? Well, anyway, I sure hate the angle that I got today. Let me see. I wonder is it upside down because just because I turned it that way, sometimes it, it, it would seem like it's up, but it might still be sideways the whole video. And if it is, oh well, forgive. I'm sideways. Oh well. Okay. So that was the only thing really that happened other than I have little good news about my car situation, about my um, job situation, about my um, my uh, neighbor's situation and the, uh, the incident that happened in the park. All those things, babe, pick which one you think that I'm saying to you and, and you don't know which one I'm talking about. And, and, the, um, and the red, little red, car with the two big dogs in it that when it was like the hound the hound yeah pick which one you think i'm talking about babe and just know it all works out god is good so let me go ahead and read the message for today um the the date led me to collect collision collision Two and eleven is where I'm gonna start, and I'm just gonna read, read, read. I wish it was more light on this side, but my eyebrows have grown back, and I need to go get my eyebrows done. But I'm trying to let them get a little more thicker. I don't like to rush back too fast, but they're start they're growing back, and drawing them don't even do no good because I just don't. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's not a good day for a hair day or a face day for me, I guess. <laughs> I want to praise God, though. Let's go. So it says in Colossians, Colossians, Colossians 2 and 11, it says, Also is Christ you had, also in Christ you had a different kind of circumcision, a circumcision not by hands okay see we've been circumcised the holy people i have been i'm trying to be anyway i was like probably on the straddle on the fence somewhat i know i know i'm gonna tell the truth the um when i spoke with the prophetess at the church i attended when i first found out that um god had called me in I spoke with her on the phone and she told me, she said, you don't need to be messing with them tarot cards. And I was like, you don't tell me what to do. But now, look how far I've come by the tarot cards and by the messages that God has relayed me. But God told me that it's time to retire the cards. I wasn't, it's not, they don't serve a purpose in my ministry. I can't use those in the ministry because those are not of God. Those are of the other side. Now, I hate to get down in there, but what I'm going to have to do is go off into some um, history on Hades. Yeah, I'm going to have to go into some history on Hades and Louisiana and voodoo and hoodoo because that all, it all boils down to, you know, tarot cards are included in that. Now, if you people want to go ahead and continue to listen to the tarot cards, they can go ahead. I mean, the tarot readers, they can go ahead. That's y'all's line of business. But stay out of my God business because you're not, you're not on the God team. So stop pretending that you are. 
okay? So circumcision is when you've been cut off. You cut off, or God has cut you off from all the toxic stuff. It says it was through Christ's circumcision that it is his death that you were made free from the power of your own sinful self. Circumcision, cut off from your own sim- sinful self, your own sinful, sinful ways. And I'm trying to say it. I know I'm getting tongue tied, but I'm trying to say, thank you, God. We, because it gets a little heavy, you know, from time to time. I'm normal. I'm human. I have urges, uh, withdrawals, and things of that nature, you know. Um, does a cigarette cross my mind? It did the other day. Um, I think it was it last night in the evening time. It's a, it's a cigarette cross my mind. I'm like, no, I don't want a cigarette. It's just that I know in the situation sometimes where my, my anxiety might have been up, that's when I ran and got a cigarette. But I'm thankful that I'm not in that area now. And besides, cigarettes are like $12 a pack. I can't afford that. I don't see how people do that and be broke or have um don't don't have any money but they can afford to buy them a pack of cigarettes so we cut ourselves off from the sinful ways and this is what god does in the circumcision it says when you were baptized you were buried with christ and you were raised up with him through your faith in God's power that was shown when you raised up with Christ from the dead. When you were spiritually dead because of your sins and because of you were not um, free from the power of your sinful self, God made you alive with Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for making me alive with Christ. And thank you for continuing to work on me and be patient with me, Lord, because I don't know everything. I am sharing my experience with whomever desires to watch these videos. I'm showing you that I'm growing. I'm showing you that God is changing me. He's making me a new creature. He's making me a new being. He's he's lifting me up. He's setting me free. God made you alive with Christ. And he forgave all our sins. Remember I said God forgave me yesterday? I don't know what's going on, y'all. And here I am saying I'm tired of it or whatever. It's getting warm in here. I'm saying I'm tired of it or whatever. But at the same time, I can't be tired of it. I got to be ready for it. God, put on put on the full, the full armor of God, uh, the full armor for me, Lord, because I know this is, the battle has just begun for me. This is going to be something I'm going to have to deal with probably the rest of my life, trying to defend myself for something that somebody decides they want to be hateful and do to me. Confirmation, there was a knock. Let me continue on. It says, he canceled the debt. The Lord said he canceled the debt. Thank you. The Lord said he canceled the debt, which listed all the rules we failed to follow. See there? When when I was like, God said, y'all ain't, y'all ain't holy, y'all are love, blah, blah, blah. I'm begging y'all, if I was doing that, God forgive me, because God gave me a special gift, and I said, well, y'all ain't like me, you know, that wasn't, I wasn't mature, <laughs> it wasn't, wasn't mature, I don't like this angle, let me get it together, yeah, that's better, okay, and it says here, which listed all the rules we failed to follow, he took away the record with its rules and nailed it to the cross. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because 
I'm not a baddie. I was a baddie once in my life. You know, I wasn't I wasn't squeaky clean innocent. I had a good heart, but I had a little little dirt in me in my in, in, in my play. Okay. So it says God stripped the spiritual rulers and powers of their authority. Thank you. With the cross, he won the victory and showed the world that they were powerless. I'm here to say this today on July the 12th, 2024. Shout. God has all the power. Explanation point. God has all the power. Yes, he does. Oh, don't he? Don't he? Yes, he does. Psalm 16 states, so do not let anyone make rules for you about eating or drinking or about the re a religious feast or a new moon festi um, festival or the Sabbath day. Don't let nobody tell you what to do. Listen to God. God tells you what to do. He, he directs your path. Uh, I was like, hey, everybody, I love y'all. I was like, wow. God was like, and I know Bay was like, she will learn sooner or later. She will learn sooner or later. Glad it was sooner and not later. It took a while, though. I feel like I, I am a slow cooker, like the, one of my angels said. That's a slow cooker right there. <laughs> but uh, when it's slow cooked slowly, it seems to be so much more tastier, doesn't it? When you put it in a slow cooker, I just let it simmer. You don't rush it. You cook it with love. God is cooking you with love. I want to say that today. Is God cooking you with love? Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? <laughs> hey, whatever. Okay. These things were like a shadow of what was to come. But what is true and real has come and is sound in Christ. Amen. Do not let anyone disqualify you by making you humiliating uh by making you feel humiliated. Humiliating you or making you um I must have must have messed up there. Uh making you feel bad because you worship God. Such people enter into vis visions which fill them with foolish pride because of their human ways of thinking. They do not hold tightly to Christ, the head. It is, for, it is from him that all the parts of the body are cared for and held together. So it grows in the way good wants to grow. It grows in the way good wants to grow. I some sometimes when you grow, you have to go to grow. I had to leave y'all alone because y'all not my community. Y'all not what well, we're not we're not on the same team. So y'all can just say, okay, I'm I'm you know you can admire me or whatever, or I can say I admire you, but I'm just saying I'm not fixing to watch y'all no more. Because we're not on the same path. I'm on the path of healing people. I'm on the path of doing what is pleasing to God. Y'all are not on that path. And stop lying to yourself. Now, I'm not going to get into it. And, and go ahead. Cast, cast your biggest damn spell you can. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send it right back to your ass. Because I tell you who got the power. God. And God is on my side. And as long as I keep on working for God, I'm going to keep on growing. And y'all don't have nothing to do with my life. It says here, since you died with Christ and made, and you were made free from the ruling spirits of the world. You see, y'all. I don't know if y'all trying to hold on to me or like, no, you a part of our community. No, I'm not. I'm not a part of your community. You're not my tribe. I thought you were my tribe, but you're not my tribe. Mm -mm. God said, you're not my tribe. You're not 
my people. I'm so sorry. You you know who you work for. And I don't owe you an apology. No, I don't. I don't owe you an apology. It says here, why do you act as if you still belong to this world by following rules like these? I'm not following them rules, Lord. I'm not going to stick around with someone and hang with a crowd of people because I don't want to hurt their feelings. I'm not the end of the world, okay? You should be worried about the end of the world and get yourself right with Christ. Don't worry about me. It says something about worshiping angels here. You should not be worshiping angels. You should be worshiping God. It says don't handle... Don't handle this. Don't taste that. Don't even touch that thing. He's saying this. Don't touch it. Don't handle it. Don't deal with it. Don't don't entertain it. Stay away from it. These rules refer to the earthly things that are gone as soon as they are used. They are only human commands and teachings. They seem to be wise, but they are only part of a human religion. They make people pretend not to be proud and make them punish their bodies, but they do not really control the evil desires of the sinful ones. I don't have no parts in it. I want no parts in it. I come to break curses and build people up. And I'm not fixing to sugarcoat and, and, and uh, tell everybody um, their future plans. Your future plans is either go to hell or go to heaven. That's which way you want it. That, that's the bottom line. Since you were raised from the dead with Christ, aim at what is in heaven, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Think only about the things in heaven not the things on earth. Your old sinful self has died and your new life is kept with Christ in God. Amen? Amen. And I don't owe nobody no excuses. It's my life. I choose God. I choose my life to put my life out there and worship God. I choose to take my life and use my life to worship God. Not man. And not to please man. But to please God and do God's work. Amen and amen. And it says here, Christ is your light. See there? And when he comes again, you will share it. You will share in his glory. You will share in his glory. So put all evil things out of your life. I threw away them rotten cards. I didn't know them. I didn't understand them. What I need them for. That's not, that wasn't what got me to get close to God. It was just a part of the journey there. But I'm, I'm through with that part of that journey. That part of my life is over with. And I'll never go back. It says sexual sinning. It says doing evil. It says letting the evil thoughts control you, wanting things that are evil and greed. This is really serving a false god. These things make God angry. And I'm not trying to make God angry. God was really patient with me. Even when I was like, I said, don't nobody tell me what to do. And I'm going to pull out. I'm like, I love y'all, everybody. I still love people. No, I might not agree with what you do. You might not even agree with what I do. But I can respect you over there, way over there, out of my space. As you, as you, I would ask you to stay out of my space and stay over there with what you do. Okay? And it says also, but now, let's see. It says, in your past, 
evil life, you also did these things, but now also put these things out of your life. Anger, bad temper, doing and saying things to hurt other people. Now, Prophetess Regina is, is from Ken to say, can say, she might say things a little harshly sometimes. But I, I'm going to say something about these, these verses in this Bible. Like I said, times have changed. And we can't sugarcoat everything. Sometimes you got to talk to the devil how the devil can understand it. And tell the devil straight up to his face, he's a bald head liar. And I don't care what you're talking about, devil. I'm up in your face because I'm pulling you out of that hiding spot that you up under. Behind that little, little, pretty little, little tiny little baby face you call yourself trying to have. Come up out of there, you evil joker. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about it. Because some of this is saying we're supposed to love everybody. The Greeks, the the um the Jews, everybody's the same. Well, I say, I bet I think the what reason why he said that is because you you're right, everybody is the same. They're all the same, and I'm staying away from all of y'all. Look. Because it says here, and I was like, ooh, that's kind of different. It says here, it says, there is no difference between slaves and free people. Yeah, if, if, if they all, um, this is still or worldly or earthly or still, you know, under the, the, um, the mentality of doing sinful things, I can't entertain with you. But I, what I can do is pray for you and um, tell you, hey, if you want to get a good life, you want to have a clean slate. Go to God, change your life, be rid of the toxicity, rid of the, the sinful ways. And I got rid of them damn tarot cards. Let's see what else God asks of me to do. But this is the word of the Lord, and it says, Forgive people when they're they've done you wrong, too. It's hard to do that. It's hard to forgive people when they do you wrong, but the best thing to do is to forgive people when they do you wrong. So you don't walk around all bitter, mad, and trying to figure out sitting somewhere under the tree thinking about how you're going to get them back. Like, well, I'm going to get them back for what they did to me. You know, and I, I can't wait till I see them again because I'm, I'm sure got something I want to say to them. And it's like, well, the next time I see them, it's on the property. You know, who cares? We're not doing that. See, that's being honoring. That's um, premeditated. Um, no, you, you mess around and been in, being behind some bars and about another two or three months behind something you did out of the spare moment of some envy and greed or envy and jealousy or anger. And you be sitting there with a 55 to life sentence and you be like, it all happened so fast. I just, I just lost my cool. I'm not going to lose my cool. But what I will do is, um, tell the truth and shame the devil. I'm here to tell the truth and shame the devil. And at this time, I want to say something else. So somebody, I, I had a dream and um, I don't, you know, I don't dream that often, but I got a piece of a bad dream. Yeah, I had a bad dream. It was in the wee hours in the morning and I knew it was a dream. It was so crazy is whoever, if somebody tried to send me a dream or the Lord said, let me show you what you would be dreaming about if I didn't cover you and keep you from your dreams because they send you wicked dreams to mess you up. Bay was in it. I was like, no, nah, that ain't Bay. That's not Bay. Bay is not going to be in my dream. This was not a, I knew it was a dream. So I said, let me get up and go pee. Excuse my language. I said, let me get up and go use the restroom. I got to use the restroom. So I woke up and went in and used the restroom. I told myself in the dream while I was watching the dream. <laughs> while I was looking at the dream, let me go use the bathroom. And I woke up and got up and went in and I laughed. <laughs> I went to the bathroom. I laughed because it was like, it was supposed to be such a scary dream. And it wasn't scary at all. <laughs> and I had the nerve to have Bay in it, too. I was like, no, nah, this is a dang gone lie. Ain't none of this is going to happen. I couldn't understand what was going on. I was like, looking like, I was looking around like, what is going on here? I was like, mm-mm, this ain't right. I said, I need to use the restroom. I got up and got up, woke up, and went to the bathroom. <laughs> I heard myself say that in a dream. I need to use the restroom. Let's go ahead and pull some energy. Can I say hi to Bay? And I love Bay. God bless Bay. But I think I got some makeup on. I shouldn't have done it. Hey, <laughs> I wasn't even. I had too much on. I said, uh-uh, I got to take some of this off. I wiped some of it off, but I still feel like I'm powdered down. I'm like, uh, like I'm powdered down, but I missed the nose. The nose is too, too red and shiny. 
You see, my nose is about the color of the picture behind me. Can y'all even see my nose? It's matching the color of the picture. Why my nose so red? I'm like, Rudolph the Rat Nose Ronda had a red or shiny nose. And it glows. <laughs> oh, let's see. Discipline your children. Proverbs 13 and 24. Whoever spares the rod hates his son, but who but he who loves him diligent to discipline him. Discipline your kids. See, I don't like little bad, rowdy, little unruly children around me. I just don't like that. I'm like, let your kid grow. Let your kid behave. Show teach your children some respect and how to act when they come out in public. They might run around the house all crazy up in there, but we don't we don't we don't care about the yeah, hey y'all, we unicorn energy. What I say, you see me once, and pew, and I'm gone. You might not ever see me again, and if you do, you better know you treat me not right, or I'll be gone, and you might not never ever ever see me again. We got that unicorn energy in the house. That's some terrible. It's like, boom, she gone. Yep, I'm not talking to y'all no more. I'm not watching y'all no more. Excuse me. You're free to go back to your regular terror world and your regular terror job, and you can stop glorifying and cheering me on like um i don't need a pep squad god is my pep squad um my angels cheer me on my my family cheers me on my my guardian angels cheer me on bay cheers me on can i say hi to bay and i love bay i love you bay god bless you happy sabbath day weird behavior what are y'all saying i got weird behavior i'm not paranoid I'll call that weird because I changed up on y'all. I can change up on anybody. Um, I'm growing. That's called change. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's called. This is the truth. It says pain from childhood. No structure. No guidance. See there? It's maybe some people didn't raise their children right and they and they're growing up, you know, be, you know, hurt and bitter or something. They didn't get enough love from their childhoods and stuff like that. It happens to us all. I mean, it's just something that happens. You, I have Psalms here, 56, 4 and 5. It says, in God I will praise his, his word. In God I have put my trust, and I will not fear what flesh can do to me or unto me every day that I, uh, um, I rest my word all their thoughts are against me for evil. I don't know what that means. Let me see. Every day they wrestle my word. All their thoughts are against me for evil. Well, that means that somebody somebody continues to send evil towards you because you're trying to do right. That's what's so sad about evil. That's what's so sad about evil is that you could be in your own little corner of the world or your own little space tr praying, trying to stay positive, um, trying to be a happy person, trying to do your best, and evil's over there going. Trying to send something to you like, that's trying to want to mess your life up like. I want to mess your life up. You know what? Why? Why do you want to mess my life up? Why? You don't like the way I look? I don't like the way you look. You know, it's like, golly. See, but you all up in mind, though. You could choose to just turn around and go the other way and live your life, but you you, you directed to me like that old man sitting in that yard that day. I'm like, get out of that. I'm like, dude, you, you honorary bastard. And see, God... God tells me, hey, no, you don't have to do that. I'm going to fight your battles. I fight your battles. Well, fight my battles, Lord. I understand. I love you for it, too. But you gave me, and I'm, I'm a soldier for the army. Lord, I'm one of the toughest ones there is. This is the truth. Let's see. Watching you from afar, longing to be with you. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they do. They be having some kind of old weird fetish or crush or something. They be hating you at the same time loving you, wanting to be with you. They might be mad just because of that. Like, 
I think she better than me. So she gonna never pick me. I hate her. You know what I, I hate him for that. He he think he does he just don't want to be with me. He think I'm not good enough for him. No, I don't get it. You know, it's like oil and water. We don't mix, big baby. We don't mix. What else, Sid? It says God is truth, and it's mentioned in Romans 8 and 37 that we are more than conquerors. Amen. And the one that got away, another one's trash is another person's treasure. True. Look at that. Didn't I just say that? Can't be somewhere mad. Look. You had your chance, big baby. You had your chance, little devil boy. Little devil people. Little devil, she devil. You had your chance. You didn't want to change your ways. The holy man, the holy woman, is not supposed to mix and mingle with you. It's like oil and water. Yeah. You got a fire on the stove. You don't throw water on it. No, you don't throw water on it. You throw like salt or something on it. You don't throw water on a on a on a, a skillet that's firing up with, with oil. You don't do that. I don't know if that was a good metaphor. What I'm saying is it's just not gonna work, big baby. Okay? Let's see. I live with the alignment with my values according to God's word. I am both spiritual and rich. My spirituality is my connection to source. I surrender myself with I surround myself with others that are spiritual and love God. And not not on that weird weird stuff and weird behavior. And I'm not wanna I don't wanna be around somebody. I gotta wonder like person for real <laughs> and I don't, I don't want that I don't want, I see why like I said I see why they was like what is your intention say my intentions is to be a good person look he got a chicken head in here oh he probably was like don't be calling me if you got, got some chicken head ways and it's like what is your intention I was like goodness gracious he scared the bejesus out of me when he said that I was like mm, what my intentions <laughs> <laughs> it was all messed up at that time. We got a two-faced person in here. The two-faced people, them chicken heads. It says here, an apologist, apologist, a person who offers an argument to in defense of something, controversial, a defender, an apostle, a vigorous or pioneer advocate or supporter of a particular policy ideal or cause let's see apologist apollo just hope i said that right it's a teacher uh um a spreader of faith word believer a spokesperson, a disciple, a person who follows Jesus during their life. And I said that. I have decided to follow Jesus. This is my life. I'm on YouTube in my own little world doing what God wants me to do. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job at it. And I'm not just going to convert to nobody's ways to make people some, a, a group of people feel special or that, that we all made it together. No, we didn't. I did this with God, me, God, they, and my sons, amen, all my angels, whoa, I dropped the whole thing on the floor, oh, took a lot of weight from it, it feels so much cleaner now, too, I feel like I cleaned my bag out, oh, it just feels, I'm telling you, I feel so good, because of your spirit, people think you're fake, mm. y'all think I'm fake? I'm probably gonna say she she not used us and she no I didn't I did me I did me big baby I did me I'm doing me you do you you do you I'm doing me so y'all can keep on talking to to me if y'all want to I'm not listening <laughs> so y'all might as well find somebody else to focus on and, and build them up yeah it says here preach bars I'm exposing I'm exposing their scars here's a few um, band-aids because I know that it hurts 
It aches real bad. Ouch. Oop. They mad, Lord. They mad. I'm not, I told y'all it was it was one person in particular. I had it, when I called him, I caught you. You don't even you didn't even know I had caught you. I was like, oop. I told Pastor, we told Bay. I said, Bay, I got a feeling with somebody. I said, I'm gonna just check him out. I watched you for a little while. I watched you like you were so happy, so so happy. You thought you had me fooled. I was like, I caught you a long time ago, but I let you fly at that time. I'm done. I don't have to. Who are you? You're not a part of my family. I don't have to deal with you. I'm so sorry. Um, everybody has their agenda. Mine is God's. And what is yours? What is your agenda? And I pulled this blue one out because I had it in my hand. Yeah, this is the full armor of God right here. Yeah. It says, we ask him, Heavenly Father, to put on the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the, the shield of faith, the belt of truth, the shoes of peace, and the sword of the spirit with prayers on our tongue and praises also in the name of Jesus. Help us to um, God to help us to guard the affections of our hearts today and to um, help us also to think positive and stay in a positive mind frame. And it says where the faithful people at where are they at where's the pay faithful people at mm -hmm. i remember saying this i don't know if they heard me because i was talking i was like yeah i have a feeling it's not very many really legit people left in this world I mean, some are just programmed like robots some of them are so far gone and evil that they never, they, they don't want to come back. They're enjoying their, their day, dirty deeds, and dirty doings. They enjoy it so much. And then you got some that just don't believe nothing. They're just dumbfounded down to earth. We down to earth, but at the same time, we don't we do not do the earthly things. It's down to earth is different than being um, earthly or worldly. Are you conscious? Are you conscious of what's going on around you, your surroundings here on earth, and what, what is going on in the, and the um the Christ, the Christ conscious, are you Christ conscious? Do you know? Do you see? Can you see past the nose? Never speak ill of an earth angel when they know your secrets. They are the truth tellers. Look at that. It's not that I could say in you little little little. You see, I haven't really even pulled out anything bad on anyone today, because I have a feeling now that I removed all the of that of those those tarot cards i think i'm gonna have a brighter day <laughs> i feel so good I'm, i might suck my thumb tonight when i sleep I, that's how good i feel like i think i mess around and just have a, a rainbow dream i'll be flying i'll be flying down that rainbow like whoo like i'm on a roller coaster ride the best roller coaster ride of my life we I'm gonna be going. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be on the on the um the train to heaven. I'm just feeling so good about it. I feel so clean. I feel so. I could take me a salt bath. I could just. I just want to be so happy. Glory, glory, hallelujah, praise God. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords has been watching over me for experience, ups and downs. I've been in great experience, all the lessons. Whew, many of. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. It's my life. Don't be mad. They're mad. Some of them I feel it, Lord. Some of them are mad because it's not their life. What? Use your life. Use your own life to get close to God. Don't worry about my life and how close I am to God. Use your life to get close to God. Oh, my goodness. Call me. Don't call me. Don't call me. Something wrong with my phone now. My phone acting up. Yeah, my phone's acting up. And I'll get it straightened out. I got Virgo energy here. Uh-huh. Virgo earth sign energy. And we got sisters of truth. And y'all know how Virgos are. Virgos would be like, you good people. You should all they said it always should have one good Virgo friend. And when you do have a Virgo friend, 
for some good people. Well, he's bad and everybody, good and bad. It says, where is kids? See that? Y'all need to stop it. I'm telling y'all. Y'all, where is kids? It's like, she ain't coming back. I know it's a few that's disappointed in me, and y'all might have not been bad people, but I'm sorry. I cannot, I cannot do it. It's not what God wants me. I cannot focus on you guys. All I can do is pray. If y'all on here, you can pray with me, and maybe one day you'll be like, you know what? I don't need it. Like I said, it was a young lady. She said she don't use credit cards no more. Okay, but you are very vain, and you probably was like, I know I'm talking about you, and you was on there um, probably saying something. You probably said something ugly to me, but I don't care. It says, keep going. Don't give up. Don't stop. Don't quit, and I won't. It says, God told me today he sees you trying. It's hard for you, but don't stop, don't quit, and keep going, you can take your life, give it to God, and use it, and God will use your, your life for a great purpose, stop worrying about me, and what I'm doing, I'm not, I'm not, I'm telling you, I'm not on Twitter, I'm not on Instagram, watching certain people, and all up in their business, and, and seeing everything they do today, that's not my style, I don't care about that like that, what I'm going to do is just keep on preaching the word of the Lord, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And hope for a better day. Hope for a change for the better for me in my life. I said I was, I said watch me manifest what I want. I haven't got it yet. You're my hero. What your motives? Didn't I say that? That's what that's what they said. What's your intention? What's your motives? Yeah, what is your motive? What's your motive for being on here? Law of attraction. I have to do right to get right to get the good stuff. I got to do. I got to be the best that I can be. This is the truth. I love the fact that I'm not gonna pull out any tarot cards. I feel when I say I feel so good. I feel like going for it for a dip in the pool. Um, when people think they are winners, but they're losers, that's what it says. I mean, that's what it says. And it says here, I had some problems. No one could seem to solve them, but you found the answer and told me to take a chance and learn the ways of love. God said, I'm going to do something in your life. And I said, work me over, God. I didn't know I was going to get a couple of spankings and a couple of kitty cat cats, but it's okay. As long as it's God doing it, not not man. God can scold me. God can, miss, you know, um, um, put me back on the right track. He can kind of like, you know, give me a little discipline tap here and there. Running from the truth. See, they're running from the truth, babe. They've been running from the truth. I was... I wasn't running from the truth. I had the truth, but I was like, yeah, y'all, and I got it. I'm the truth. And I was like, I wasn't like all the way there yet. And I'm still not all the way, way there. I'm learning. I'm growing. I'm being Christ-like. I'm doing better. Conflict, that's what you thrive on, bad energy. See that? I don't need that in my life. And then some people, like I said, are out to be like, they just want to see me fail. They want me to get on here and cry with a big old sad story. I have something really bad happen in my life today so that they can feel better about their life. I'm like, no, that's not how that works. I don't, I don't, I'm not supposed to go jump on y'all stuff three days from now and see, let me see if they miss me if they're sad today. That's not, I don't know, no, I'm not doing that. That's not me. That's not how I operate. Look, shake it off. We got shit to do. See that? I got things to do. I got lots to do. I need to, matter of fact, so much to do. I need to file my nails down. This is the longest this nail has ever been in my life. And it grows crooked. Not the weirdest nails. Look, reach for the sky. I told y'all, I want to be on that rainbow. I'm being, I feel like I'm on the rainbow. I want to like, I was in the sky. I'm like, yay, hallelujah, glory, glory. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Like, I don't have to worry about no tarot cards no more. I am free. I have freed myself from y'all. Y'all thought y'all had a hold on me. Hell no. No way. No how. I can go for that. Mm -mm. I am done. It's a done daughter. Dark night of the soul. Y'all, somebody's going through it, or y'all had me in it. Y'all thought y'all did. Y'all just been like going all kind of evil eyes and and saying ugly stuff and, and saying 
I knew exactly who I'm talking about. You thought you were slick because you was like, yeah, and they said this about no, it was you. It was you all along, Miss Miss Chubby Lug. Let's see here. What else I got to say today? Well, I don't want, I don't, I, Lord, I said they was all lining up in the line. They did chop, 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 chop. I'm feeling up hospital. Family turning out to do one another. Look, turning over. On, it, 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 look, y'all, of course, y'all don't like each other in the community. The community that y'all dwell in, y'all don't like each other. And here I come. Why we all can't get along? I love everybody. So see, y'all didn't love me. It's okay. You don't have to love me. God does. God loves me. God loves me. God loves me. God loves me. And a few people love me. And guess those who else love me? Bay. Bay. I love you. Forehead kiss, Bay. Love you. I love Bay. Yeah. You are the light. Amen. Amen. Let's see what else. It says here, it's, it's, it's beginning to look like God will make me jump, jump, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. God's making us jump. Oh, Lord God. I'm telling you, I feel like jumping over the rainbow. It feels good. I want to skip, skippity, skippity doo da, through the toilet. I want to frolic because. I don't have that bird or beetle, but I release in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And it feels so good. Ooh, I love it. I simply love it. I feel like the cat ain't on my back. It, it feel like it was a big, fat, black cat on my back. It ain't on there no more. I have a prayer in here. It says, God, please help me to make peace with my yesterday and have an open mind and heart for to today and tomorrow and help me to be a blessing to people and help me to see the good around me, the good of others and the good in myself. Help me to be happy, have happy thoughts and be thankful and I have a thankful heart. Guide us today into living like you with our um with unselfish love amen and amen uh, amen love me and amen uh, i love god god love me this is for two <laughs> Wee, yes lord yes i feel good i feel good all over thank you god have been released. Mm -hmm. Respecting one's choices, showing a regard for others' abilities and worth, valuing their feelings and their views, even if you don't agree with them. I might not agree with you, but I agree with God, and God told me, chunk those and throw up the do sign. <laughs> That's what God told me. And I said, okay, God, I will. Because I said, I'm saying, wait a minute. And when I say, wait a minute, I'm like, this is crazy. I'm like, crazy. When I said next, God said, dig here, here, this is what's next. But check this part out. I said, I read it. I was like, wait a minute. This, what? Are you serious? Mm -mm -mm. Shame. Shame. And I can admit I was wrong. Yes, I can admit I was wrong. Oh, forgive me, Lord. I was wrong. I was wrong. You were right, Lord. You were right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. God said, move according to his word. See, and I had to. God told me, he said, listen to me. No. I said, okay, God. God said, when God said no, he said, okay. He says, open up, express your feelings. I'm expressing my feelings. I'm telling you, Lord, I forgive you because I wasn't I wasn't quite there yet, okay? But I'm there now. And you said, listen, no. I said, okay, Lord, I will I will throw it away. It's childish things you have to get rid of. I'm not saying, you know, like I said, I can respect y'all way over there. Stay way over there, and I'm going to stay way over here in my godly world. <laughs> Doing my godly work. For Jesus, for God. 
it feels so good to know I'm not pulling cool, no no um stuff out like that grooming. Well, y'all trying to groom me to stay over there on that side, so you know that can make y'all look better. No, I'm not doing that. I mean, I'm not saying y'all bad people, but no, I'm it's over and a done data for me. I mean it like goodbye. I'm never coming back. You're the apple of my eye, bae. Yes. You're the sugar in the pudding, bae. You handsome self. Miss Bay. You feel sorry for them, though they hurt you. Yeah, I mean I don't I don't feel sorry for y'all, but I kinda do. I, I wanna say I'm sorry I'm not coming back, but then I'm like, I don't owe you an apology because we all grown here, right? So this is my life and this is the way I I'm supposed to be living my life. I'm not quite there yet. God's been working on me, but I can't take y- carry y'all with me. I'm not. Y- y'all not going the, the direction I'm going. We're not. We're not on the same path. Yeah, you got secrets here. God, God can expose your secrets to me, and I can tell you your secrets. But I don't even want to do that. I want to be on my merry way. Sparkle in your eye. Mm-hmm. Bae, you are the apple of my eye and the sparkle of my eye. I remember that one time I seen Bae when he was singing at that church. And he, I, I promise you, I know what I saw. Bae was standing there and I seen his eyes light up. Like light. Like lightning. They, they twinkled and I seen it. They just, they did a, Bae, your eyes did a twinkle. It was, it was a twinkle. It was like, and I was like, and that lady was standing next to her. The lady was standing next to me, that that apostle lady that didn't like me in her church. And she was looking at you like this. And she could not believe that I was there uh, because of the invite from you. And she was just, she was just, just, just torn up inside. I don't know if she's in love. Um, maybe she's in love too because Bay is lovable and all. But you can't have the uh, apostle, apostle lady. He mine. But I seen that twinkle in Bay Eye and I said, Wow. I saw it, Bay. I saw that twinkle in your eye. Get it from the mud. We're getting it from the mud, y'all. We're getting it from the mud. Yeah. We're getting it from the mud. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Who's sneaking in the man's back door? I could drop a attraction here. Do you ain't nobody gonna be trying to sneak in my man's back door? First they gotta find out where he live. I don't even know where Bay live. So I know ain't nobody supposed to be sneaking in Bay back door. Bay don't operate like that. Now Bay's charming and everything. Everybody wants to be impressed with Bay, but no. Uh uh-uh. uh. I don't know how many people get to be around Bay and everything. It's gonna be another another couple of things that have to be taken care of in the promise of things because the burial protected with Bay. Forgive, Lord, forgive, I am. I don't want to be jealous of Bay like that, though. Your very oil be protected for Bay. Is that? Oh, okay. We're moving on. We're moving on up. We're moving on, y'all. I'm moving on, y'all. Goodbye. Farewell. Arriba Dirty. I'll be with you tonight. So long. Farewell, 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 adios, amigos, I gotta go, it's over, no more, sorry about it, gotta leave, gotta do me, got God work to do, not worry about you. I hate her. I just, I just, just hate her. So she's glad to hate her. So, I got Psalms here, fifty six to two. My foes have trampled upon me all the day long, for they are many who fight proudly against me. See there? <laughs> God said so. God said, uh, uh-uh. you want to get away from this group? This group is their their time is up. Y'all's time is up. <laughs> I'm out of here. I said, which way? Which way you want me to go? Oh, that way, Lord? Okay. <laughs> Ain't going in the y'all's direction. 
I'm not coming over there. Uh-uh, and God tell me, don't cross the street. God said, don't go on that side of town. That's the bad side of town. I'm grateful. I'm so grateful to God. We got that Lily White people here. I will not be coming to your church tomorrow. Speaking of Lily White. So it is the Sabbath day, and I got to eat a good meal today, y'all. I didn't eat, and I had to eat peanut butter jelly sandwich. Uh, Mr. Chris took me to get me some lunch during the when he, he when he took his lunch break today. We went to this um Thai food place. Delicious, delicious. I gave a five star rating. Delicious. Uh, anyway, but it was a small portion of him. I was telling him about um these taco uh. People that say you're talking about, have you had a meat taco? I'm like, oh, I'm thinking, oh, they packed the meat on. So I told him, I said, the last few days, I've noticed that she's been out there. It seemed like she's doing pretty good. So he says, I'm not really full off of this. Let's go down there and try, get a taco. You want to try one? Let's go down there. Because we're taco people, right? So I told her, I said, I remember the first day you were out here, you said, tacos. And I said, I don't have any money. I yelled out to the window. I said, I don't have any money. And she said, oh, okay. She had been out there. Okay, our people had been whipping in there every time I passed by there. So we pop stop. So he gave me mine and he took his and um I came home and um I had to go back over there to do something. And when I went back, we were talking about it, I said I oh, because he gave me a gold thing and he gave it back to me. He and I, I cleaned it out and he looked at him and he said, Man, that taco I said He said, Me and you, we can do so much better than that. I said, Yeah. I said, we sure can. It was a no for me. The lily white girl. Hey, but I tell y'all, they can't cook. Some of them can't cook. Most of them can't. It was very depressing. And I said, I want to say something about it. So it's too dumb down for me at the little taco stand. Mm -mm. It took them forever to put the little taco together. And it was just so... It tastes like something a third grader would have made, like uh, in home ec or something. Like if you just let your your your, your eight eight year old cook the dinner tonight, that's how that tastes. Yeah, that's how that tastes. Let's see what else. No man is over God. Greater is God who is in me than. The enemy is who is working against me. So for who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Forget y'all. Basically what God says. God says forget y'all. Forget you. Forgot you. I never thought about you. God is greater. <laughs> I will live this day. I will I will live in this day and surrender to God rather than trying to um be controlled by people. Uh-huh, yeah. I don't want y'all trying to control me. I've been circumcised. Glory, hallelujah, I've been circumcised. Thank you, Jesus. What else, Spirit? Spirit? Now I'm about to get on off of here. Yeah, it's time to go. It's time to go. A good heart. I'm going to leave with that one. A good heart. God is good. Do you have a good heart? One. Love you, babe. God bless.